Well, hello everyone. This is Martin Bryan back for my guitar channel with another Epiphone Artist Series. Um, this is actually my second Adam Jones. Uh, this should be the Barbarian. I really didn't think I was going to get this. It was on back order and I was like fifth or sixth in line. So that means that five or six people um, that were in line ahead of me backed out. So I'm going to have to sell one of my other guitars to fund this, but I'm really looking forward to it. My Adam Jones Veil of Bees, I've said before, is better than many of the Gibson Les Pauls I've ever had. And considering that these are still $300 less than a Gibson Les Paul Studio Faded, which is the bottom of the American main range. You know, uh, I gotta say, I think this is worth more than, than a studio for sure. Or a better value, I should say. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this. This again comes from Sam Ash via David Weintraub, who, if you've seen the other unboxing, you know that that's someone I met through an associate of mine. I have a friend who used to be a studio and touring a keyboard player for some pretty major bands, so he uh, knows two of the people who started Sam Ash, and they referred me to David when I was looking to get my Alex Lifeson Les Paul. And those were impossible to get at the time, and sure enough, David came through. And now every time David's got something interesting, he gives me a call. And oh boy, this should be interesting. Okay, the box is a little beat up, but, you know, FedEx handles a whole bunch of boxes. So I'm not going to say if it was anybody's particular fault. And I know from the previous one that this, this is shipped in a very nice case. So I'm not going to be all too worried about the condition of the box, knowing this awesome... Gator travel case. Uh, I think they actually call it the TSA case. It is here. Ooh. <laughs> Someone used a CD, empty CD jewel case as a packing filler. That's interesting. No, it's not empty. <laughs> There's a CD in there. GE Medical Systems, application software, property of GE, India. That is bizarre. How did that get in this box? We're going to look at that later. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, GE trade secrets. GE trade secrets, uh, secrets in my Epiphone box. Okay. Again, the really nice case. So I think even if I, uh, since I would have two of these cases, I'm not sure what I'll do here. I might sell my my Gibson Futura, but keep the case it's in because that is just a super sexy Gibson case. And this is a really nice Epiphone case, but like I said, I already got one. So the case is cold. That's all on our friends at uh, FedEx. At least it's not wet. 
which sometimes when the weather is bad and I get something from FedEx, it's, it's clear that it's been sitting around in a warehouse someplace. Oh yeah, this is such a nice case. So it's got three locks uh, facing you, one lock at the bottom, and no locks on the opposite side. I'm going to fly over here. Protector for the tile switch. Here we go. Now to look at the custom art. Let's just go right for it. Wow. There's the Berserker. The Franzetta. I gotta admit that's pretty pretty nice. Same tuning machines. A lot of people have been confused by these tuning machines because they look a lot like some of the cheaper tuning machines that you'll find on sub $200 guitars, but they're not. These are actually consistent with um, 70s spec Gibsons, and that's what this guitar is a copy of, right? This is designed after... Alex Jones, Alex Jones, so scratch that. This is designed to meet the specs of Adam Jones's custom Gibson 70 spec. Wow, it's just beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the case candy. And the case candy is all there. In case I wind up selling this and turn it into a sales video, which I don't think I'm going to, everything is here and in the box and in beautiful, beautiful shape. It's a little cold. I'm going to let it warm up before attempting to play your own tuner because you really want to let your guitar acclimatize. Oh, God, this is such a nice case. 